Welcome back. In the first yep. match, we have IAP versus Army Genesis. It's the battle of relegation. Um, he's just kind of a squishier offlaner that does more in the mid game. You mentioned the spirits, it's the oh, same kind of thing. Lion being aimed this time around, and it's very it's nice right back. It's got finishing off in an ankle snap. And top lane, you're not meant to do that well. It's Monkey King versus Tide, although Monkey, he's hunting. He wants another kill. Yeah. Maybe, I think it's going to be enough damage. Other strides already comes out. A one hit. Maybe a jump. Oh, perfect by DB. Oh my goodness. Middle lane. Azura being chased by Jonas inside the tower. That was a great solo kill. He knows that he's not going to make it. So he let the tower kill him in state of that lion. Oh, mid lane. Mid lane. They Can they get this? Uh, Spy comes out. Trying to do the boy. He uh, dissimulate. He had some extra damage. They might have to get some support and just run away. Here we go with the Earth Spice Watch yeah. after all the stuff now. It's BRD first time using the ramp. It's a pretty big one. Team up with Buddy Kisses. But hey, Boy Spirit found the grand head on the right here. And Matt, you need to change the spot. It's not going to be a free hitting at all. Asura on a killing spree. He got hit. Matthew coming back in the scene and got another kill. Very tall. To simulate, let's see. Can they catch his Boy Spirit? Slide top face, all the stuff. Five snap cookie, it was body blocked and locked down in the searing chain. Definitely gonna be a kill. Getting three broken. Matthew got another kill. Double kill for Matthew already. Next one gonna be lame. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Farming in oh, the they're gonna kill him. Can they? Hex first, maybe? Everything. Third fight? Yes, they can. Mine's still not that strong. Definitely not an easy hero to go on, and IAP, they're poking around. Really? I'm about to say, surely they're not going rogue. I think they can start with a rogue, oh. but they also dissimulate these damage comes out. Matthew, Kimo, all spawn gone, and this is a perfect opportunity for Team Army Genesis to get the first agents of the game if they can. That was such a good rolling thunder, just bouncing between the two cliffs. Rabbit comes Rabbit out down for the core, and Asura down. Romy need to just run away. Palakinis is trying to stop Yona from moving forward. Varys also hex on him. Varys is going to sacrifice his life for all his teammates. Yeah, Gets ribbing. snatched out by the AM. Slide up into inside of the free line. It's God is on killing spree. We're kind of at that point where if someone wins a team fight, they can go into road. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Another East Whale works like magic, man. Right now, dealing the decent damage. Even though it doesn't have a rabbit, but no problem. Two down real quick, the two supports gone. I mean, Genesis, they only have a core, but a core without a support, no assist, no help. It's going to be nothing. Now they are grouping up. Oh, smoke Both smoke. Sides, smoke, full man. It's gonna be big, big. Oh, a rabbit! Oh. On, yeah, only one, which is a pangolin. It might be worth it, though. The way that they started, maybe Fawcett will be heavy out as well. Yeah, copy Pesarina using the rabbit back. Uh, Lim trying so hard to just make his team alive in this team fight, but he was the first one who falls out. Finally, Wu Kong Command is out. Uh, my name is Kong. Wu Kong. And then Man is out. The DB finish him off with the morning with six kisses from the higher ground. Army Genesis tried to retreat back to the uh, mid tier tower, getting stopped by Yoda from long range using slide of face and the searing chain. Earth Spike comes out, that was a mini rabbit. Watch Bucko by Womi, but he's just trying not to kill anyone. It seems like it's going to be a comeback fight for Team Army Genesis after a big loss of Team IAP. Triple kill for Asura. Wow, having the Aghanim Scepter on the, the Void Spirit, that new pickup. They want the team wipe Cyclops. Yeah, you think they can? Yep. Definitely. Ultra. Oh. Uh, I think they are grouping and trying to go for another round top. This is going to be super important, especially for Team IAP. It doesn't have a Ravage. Here we go. DB Michelle to get rid of Emo first, but it's gone. Destroy the backfire as well. So no more light on, no more dispel spell. Wormy moving in. Azura finish off that Matthew. You scepter. And turns the BKB just to get away from all the dangers. Wormy to the higher ground. And Yona fire Remnant down to the lower ground. Aiming for that Wormy. Man, you cannot run away from... From... And... Yeah! What? Blink? He could run away! TP. Oh no! AM! He blinked oh. on the cliff! My goodness! Oh, he lived! The Aghanim's coming up on Azura, and now he's already got a BKB to fold up. Monkey King getting more damage. Start to fight once again, come on, man. This is a, this grand kind of shooting from the long range. Once again, Monty must kiss his speed. the main source of damage of Team IAP, but not for so long. They lost Escort pretty fast. 
But it can't prevent... Oh, wait. Not a fight here. Constant fight, non-stop telekinesis in order to stop that Kimo first. Trying to get Kimo out of the equation. Now he is gone. The equation is about to be completed. Jonathan, the BKB slash on now and the support. Now it's a fight of the core, the fight of the superheroes. Earth Spike, Finger, double kill for DB in this situation. Um, I mean, most of it has just come down to the fights his team have chosen. Oh, like a big ravage comes out, and well. then the team up with the Monument Kisses, they killed that Azura real bad with no buyback, so he next kind of come back and help his team and not a rabbit, refresh a rabbit. They killed that Varys. This might be the time that they turn around. IAP trying to chase, and the Agon Inceptor used in every single bit. It's worth it. Man, did you see how far they can chase? <laughs> and it's a triple kill for Barb. Just when we thought Ooh. the game is pretty much over and going on Monkey King's way. Monkey. We got to come back from Team IAP. That's the first time he's going to come back full HP, full oh, mana. Yeah. But this life doesn't have a BKB. So he's going to be quite <laughs> easy taken down by the whole crew of Team IAP. And they're just going to push the tower. Damn, he danced like um. A flamenco dancer. It, it's not that easy to catch a voice spirit, and they are about to show us how easy they can catch a voice spirit with a rolling thunder in, jumping in for that monkey king and turn the BKB yeah. team on attacking, about to do the balance match. Where is actually the first one who goes out? He bought back right away. Lion back to the scene. They need all the earth spice and all the mini things from that lion. Still got a buyback though for two cores of Team Army Genesis, so I don't think it will end right here. But it seems to be a very big advantage for Team IAP. See him in a team fight, but the next thing I know, I see all like uh, something like a, 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 a artillery from the wrong range dropping down, yep. dealing the decent damage. He now starts striking on the second set of racks. A army genesis need to defend. Going in, uh, trying to set up with the Jew Scepter, follow up with the other Spike go. But hey, moving in for Jonathan, the BKB, no buyback for Barry, he just did it! The first Ravage already comes up, but it was a great dodge by Asura, but I wonder if they can defend that second set rack. This rack is pretty crucial. They go in for the Rolling Thunder and everything, turn the BKB for that boy spirit, but he was locked in the Soul Bind. Attacking, 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 fighting for the show time, and the second rabbit comes up, perfect positioning, no buyback. Rolling. And it's going to be the second set of rack, of course, uh, turn the Wukong command. They're trying to defend the uh, range rack with the buyback of that Rubik. Still keep in place for voice sprint, still in the graveyard. And now he's being fought to do the buyback because he's seen me being pushed into the mid tier 4 tower. They slash that Rubik down, no buyback. Only two beats of four. Can they do it? Asura trying to force the enemy away. Got that Monkey King, but still, he still can buy back, but no need, it's a GT call from Team Army Genesis, IAP took game one. What a game to start off this series. This, this is one of the best lineup that I have seen IAP picked in this tournament. Uh, you pick a PA against Tiny and also got the Outworld Destroyer. Yeah, tough lane. But you also need to be careful. That's what I'm talking about. Going straight in at IAP. It's got ball. And now the PA level 3, you've got Orb of Venom. Oh, look at in the middle lane. It's going to be a fatal fight between the two. Asura noticed he's not going to make it, so he just decided to leave it halfway. It was so close. On top, back as well. Matthew. Matthew can slash. Oh, my God. That wasn't too Man. This is maybe the problem with the tiny supporters. It's a pretty weak lane. They are going to TP the Lina in top. Astro. Uh, Yona, so he's going to haste around. He wants his kill. Yeah, I'm going to blade. Is that going to be enough to kill DB? He He's trying so hard to stay. Oh, Sonic Web in the face. <laughs> okay, maybe that's the reason why they start a fight on top. This is going to be the first big team fight with an arrow hit on that Lina. Stop him from doing anything. DB, the first one will be taken down by IAP, doing a, such a very good job, and all of them stuck in Arena of Blood, and I don't think they will go out alive. I wouldn't have minded Yona on Lina goes through the travel, though. Alright, Kimo turns to the Exorcism, and it's going to dive into the Mitchell Tower, setting up Arena of Blood Tower, is shooting, shooting on who? Shooting on Matthew, tanking all the damage as a Tiny, a perfect for them, it's a trade though, Kimo is out, Varys is out as well, it's a trade as a support, and so many skills and ultimates has been used. Just having that quick dispel is just so valuable early on. 
Oh, DB. On the Look at a crazy uh -oh. Matthew. Even though he has a low oh. HP, he still want to oh, no. go in and try to gang. And it's going to be Matthew himself and also his teammates going down. Oh my goodness. What a crazy play it is by Team IAP. Yes. I mean, you, you could have just go back to the fountain, regen first, and mid lane. Oh, okay. It looks like Asgard is going to run away from all the bucks and stuck in uh, Spears of Mars. Barry got him. Oh, man, it's too easy. Kills on top. Army Genesis got everything under control, and now they're going straight for the Roshan pit. Get the first agents of the game. Well. They're all doing a big smoke. This might turn things around though. Here we go with Arena and everything is aimed on that Kunkka. Nice save by using Astro Prism and he's gonna be back. He seems super healthy for that mob, but he just keeps turning his back on everything and then he died without doing a single damage. The race needs to retreat. Kimo doing some Spirit Siphon, saving his teammate. He sacrificed himself staying in the middle of the fight and he will go down. He gets a ward though. This could work out for them. Yeah, they got a high, got a look, coming to the high ground. They killed that DB, Michelle. He still has a buyback though. We have to wait and see oh. if DB is going to do it. Yeah, like great plays from Matthew to make that call. And they smoke again. They want to yeah. go make another move. They catch one more. They see Azura. Oh. oh man, the timing was just not right. And Warmi yeah. moving in, punished them immediately with the Arena of Blood combined with the Sonic Wave, getting punished in the worst way possible. Oh. Yeah, the great counter initiation with the arena wave, but that OD shouldn't be astroling there. The tiny was about to toss. They need to change some people, and if you astro, you let him BKB. They now want the this Weaver. The they got this trying to go no. for the Weaver. Can they get that Wormy down? But he was so tanky with all the chills and spell. 300 Titans. Oh Mark? my, Wormy finally falls. A true is still slashing people as usual. Yona walking away with a very high speed. Need to turn on the BKB and to be safe from all the spell, but not going to be safe from all the invisible attack. He is dead eventually with no buyback. Meanwhile, the fight about to happen in the middle lane. Uh, Matthew didn't know that somebody is there using the Phantom Knight in the piece of damage. Matthew is walking away. The first support gone real quick. The second support gone after. Avalanche and Saw, delay as much as possible. DB with the Band of Dice, dealing the uh, strong damage. Need to be careful when oh, DB okay. got jumped in with Arena of Blood. It's out, uh, DB, first life gone real quick. That seems Great to be talk. a good sign for Team IAP. If they can kill the DB, dropping all the ultimate, he's stumping away. Where is he? He's still in the middle, drain all the HP back with all the critical damage, fighting at the mid tier 4 towers, standing still. Bye back. And now they are forcing back out of the base for Team Army Genesis. They might retreat all safe. But Team IAP oh. managed to defend on this one. Chemo still on the XR system. Mm. They go for round two, man. And now they're striking on the Bernex. They know that there is no XR system. Phantom Knights already comes out. They're going super aggressive in front of the tier four. Bomi finish it off. And they oh, have to arrow. do the yeah. Astro and Prism Man in order to stop the PA from moving forward. They still have the buyback on that Kanga. He needs to buy out right away. Kimo is out. PA is unstoppable. He is a Terminator. He touch everything in gold. It's minus spot back. In order to slow the group of them, can they kill the PA first? They still not get the Pyrex. Keep that in mind. Objective is not done yet. Ooh, Ooh one splash. Got one support down. It's my the spot and drop all the metal or hammer. Can they kill the PA? But from the scene, DB dumping away. Another Titanic moving in. Walking away. Asura dropping so low though. Oh, but DB destroy all the dreams. All you have to do. Down bottom, Womi has to BKB. Yeah, I think Womi not. Oh, okay. Thank you, see him. Yeah, come back. Gonna get Eggman's spot back, back up. into the ghost ship, but he's still there. With the only way his teammate moving in to save him. This problem, I mean, if they lose Ooh. even one guy, that's gonna be a big damage to Team IAP. Oh, they show top DB. He's on a killing mission. He sees Kima. Oh, one stepping dagger. God like on DB. Can he 1v2? Well, gotta keep that in mind that Kunkka doesn't have any more buyback. Ma being chased by DB. If Ma goes out right here, they could call a GG. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Got a new target. Becoming a new prey, indeed. Throwing all the spells. Matthew being chased in his own base. Matthew not gonna help. 
Matthew goes out with no buyback as well. It's time to finish the job. It's a matter of time when IAP is going to call it. I think Army Zenith is going to force, going straight to tier 4 tower. They're smoking up. They might try one, one last more time to turn the BKB up and also the Exhaust system. Kimo getting slashed. Kimo gone real fast. Womi using Arena of Blood in order to block uh, somebody come out from the bottom. But it won't be for long. They're just throwing out time lapses for fun. PA just being pulled around by Varus and... Avalanche to the call. Like Somebody's gonna go down. Maybe thrown inside the pod. Fan of nice. It's so good to see <laughs> it, the PA play. And that yeah. is it, ladies and gentlemen. Army Genesis tied the series 1 1. We are going to game number three. I, I like Wraith King. Um, Medusa. Medusa. Ooh. Yeah, all good, man. Not saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on top lane! Yes, that's Ooh. gonna be the first one! I got that one! I think we can say that the laning phase is, is their weakness, but um, uh, on top. Okay, yep. game stroke dropping Matthews. quite low though, but however, I think Esgar gonna get some kill on the port. Good one. They strike it back, but however, DB just gets something out of that one. Troubles for Chemo at the bottom lane as well. And meanwhile, Arena, though, first time Medusa. using Arena of Blood, Mark. Stuck in there, and yeah, this is the first time Asura uh, teleported from the mid lane and trying to gang on the right hand side of the map. And uh, he's just gonna he die. Yes, we had a Mars. Potential boots of travel from Batrider to come in and help out. All right, uh, yes, yeah, they realized that DB would be a hard target, so they decided to go for the support first. But however, Asura teleported. Not teleported, just moving from the mid lane to help on top, and that's gonna be a trade. Definitely, Esgar not gonna make it. He might have to trade his life with the support, which is not worth it. Yona, Bat Rider teaming up with the Inkswell, so trying deep. to catch somebody. DB gonna get dragged in for the first time in this one, but I don't think the damage would be enough. DB might turn things around. He might jump in. Fire Remnant to the high ground, slashing Yona down, killing spree for Asura, getting tips as well. Oh my goodness, Matthew gonna fall. I oh, toppling, have... yeah. Yeah. Oh, they kill Escort as well, and Matthew dies. Oh, absolutely, yeah, for sure. Um, when you tip opponents who are making bad mistakes in like a must-win game three, it's oh. you know it's because they their pressure's on them. Ember gets maybe gone on here. He's going to die. Nice play from IAP. They needed to get these kills to get back in the game. Lim. Oh, buy some time with Mister, but we'll go down at least one, maybe even two more items. The Scotty MKB seems to be like a pretty strong timing for her. Yep. Um, Scott itself is good, but the MKB means the PA has become such of a less of a threat. Oh, I read a blood. Uh, Matthew being brought down. Wormy strike back on Escort. It's oh, two for Team IP. About to be three be more, Yeah. There were so many times that the uh, parade of the IAP being scouted out in inside the diary. Middle tower has fallen. Still got a chance, you think? Oh, okay, they maybe they still on the fight. Primal Raw first, and now who is going to die? It's Lim. Arena of Blood being opened in order to just counter Yona drag him out of Arena. Mars falls, and Mob. Still fight on. He turned a stone case, but it seems like no one is going to hit it. Uh, let's take a look. He has an eye of Scotty. This is going to be the first time that they fight toe to toe. Mob. Oh, he won over the uh, PA. But let's take a look at this one. Asura is killing all the backline. Kimo going to be the next one. Mob is now shooting. 1v1 against the PA. Who going to win? PA runs away. Oh my goodness. This is actually showing the sign that Team IAP still got chance. They're always going to get jumped. If there's nothing to jump them, then yeah, stay far back. But when there's an Ember in the game, you have to be near your Medusa. Okay, the Flame Lasso Dragon back. If they can kill Mars without using Arena of Blood, that would be good. He died without using Arena of Blood. Wukong Command comes out. Kimo's in the front line. We'll definitely go down. But it's a true goal for Kimo, you know. He, he both sides gonna be big, big fight. Are you guys ready? If you are ready, put your hands in the air before the fight happens. Mark moving in, being stopped first. Bad Rider died by the what stop the searing chains and a lot of the damage it comes out. But look at that Medusa, he's shooting like a goddamn AK-47. You can't stop the damage output from Medusa. 
Uh, they try so hard to stop Medusa, but look at that. But the rest of Team oh, IAT are just melted in all the hellfire. They want to steal this Roshan. They've got a Hulk giving them vision. They can. Jumping in on the higher ground on the big heavy and setting up Arena. Oh, Medusa is still doing a pretty decent damage as usual. But hey, using the armor to block though. Warmy was stunned. I used to be a Spartan warrior. Now I become a stoner in front of the stone gates. Being chased down by the Wukong command. Mark tried to throw it back to the higher ground. They're just gonna charge in. They need to be careful as well. But Wormy seems to tank all the damage for his teammate. He was there. He was so brave. And here he got shot down by the illusions of Medusa. Asura is got like nice time to clear all the backline. And Asura turns to go in. Turn the flame card. Man, they take turns going in fighting with this Medusa. Medusa is king. And now he is shooting everyone in front of the tier 4. He's staying alive, but now running out of mana. He knows that his time is out. Uh, that he is out for 90 seconds. EB just playing. The towers can't reach when you're behind the throne. <laughs> He's like, if I go close enough to their fountain, the towers won't hit me. And they said in the Emperor's Spirit, die. And they sent in the PA. Okay. Here we go. We're now level 25. Looks like they're going DB. Mitchell's going to be heavy, but still being uh -oh. dragged into the fountain. Is, is that going to reach the fountain? No! What's so? Well, Lack of the distance. Oh, well, bring back him back. But he just jumped away and slashing people and killed at the same time. Everyone of Team IAP being blocked at the fountain right now. DB trying so hard to stay alive on this one. That, that is his first life. He's going to be back, and his teammate is ready to jump in to help save him. But, well, is that true? DB sli uh, being slid by his teammates away from the danger. Being bounced by by the frame rate once again. Turn on the Wukong of mine in order to zone out of Team IAP. Okay, oh, smack no. it down and kill the Batman. Yona. He also blinked in a tiny bit too early. Roshan was still alive, so... If they'd managed to get the Aegis away from DB, maybe there would have been a better chance for this last fight. This is a game that Yona is going to want to forget. He has not played well on this Batrider. Man, this is so painful to watch. They are so close. They are at the edge of the elimination of this league. Arena of Blood is probably going to be the last arena that they ever experienced in the DPC. They're trying to fall it back to the Bowser to just gain some HP and go back to fight. That would be no easy GG coming out from the team for sure. They are going to fight until the last bit with their honor. Yona forcing everyone away. And Army Genesis is about to take down the second set of racks. Yeah. He doesn't care about the right clicks. Forcing everyone out. Yeah, Mark uh, turn on the illusion, but he's running out of the mana real fast because of all the damage from Team Army Genesis. Even the uh, Monkey King support turned himself to be a core player right now. Bomi is out. You want to finish him off with the uh, Flaming Lasso. So everyone of Team Army Genesis is fall back and doing objective instead. Setting in some frame break, and uh, they are not going to rush. I think they are going to go back. The yeah. layers of defense is very important at this stage of the game. So who are they going to send into the front line? How are they going to start the fight? Who are they going to initiate on? It's very important. Jonathan BKB, but that is a very good BKB poke by DB. Lock everyone down, down the arena of blood. A very good elite arena. Everyone is in there. This is just like a town hall for everyone. And Asura is killing all the back line, forcing everyone going back to the base. No buyback for most of them. Who can command? GG has been called. Team. Oh. Army Genesis survive for another day, but this is not the end. Uh, I mean, not the safe spot for them. They just have to, to just pray. Yeah, they could still be in like some tiebreakers, I think. So th this was their last series. They had two wins and five losses.